Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to work on these two cranes. We've got a foundation here for one to go and one here to go as well. They're going to be pretty similar, pretty much identical actually to these ones. There might be a slight bit of difference but uh, pretty much the same design as these. And we're going to use some more amethyst crystals to try and encourage this amethyst drake to turn up. It seems to be quite fickle so far. And whilst we're doing this this week, I think I might also try and do some of the cliff work. Maybe around here? Around, eh, yeah, maybe around here. I think this little stretch here is really the last bit I've got to go. The cliffs around this side have been done. At least, at least enough, because I don't know exactly what's going here forever. There might be some more rail carts and stuff going around here, but for now, as a starting point, these cliffs are pretty much done. So maybe just around this side I've still got to do. So we'll do a bit of that today as well. As you can see, we still have no sign of any big dragony amethysty visitors. It is still quite empty and lonely back here. Nothing on the horizon. No, nothing out here either. Everything's still quiet with the dragons down here. Oops. Still studying. Still checking each other out. The water towers haven't been activated. Everything in the village seems fine. Got some shulkers full of stuff. I like to leave plenty of space in my shulkers, otherwise I get confused. Let's get going. I've just lit up the area a little bit around here because I do tend to get creepers up on this top ledge bit. I'm going to do this one first, the one that's by the hot springs, because I've already built one of these cranes before, over there. I'll just do the builds, I'll get them with the replay mod, you'll see the footage, but we don't need to do a big walkthrough about them. They're just going to be pretty much the same, give or take maybe slightly taller and maybe slightly longer or shorter. They're basically going to be the same. So I shall just bring you back when I'm done. that is that done. That did not take anything like as long as I anticipated, which is very nice. How come every time I start filming, the sun sets? But as you can see, we now have a second crane done and a third crane done. So this one has an amethyst crystal chunk with some of the roots still hanging off it from where it's been pulled out the dirt. And I'm thinking that that crystal chunk has come from this spot again, that this has been mined, that there's still a piece on this original crane, but there's also a piece on here now because it's been moved, because I couldn't find anywhere down here where they would have actually pulled a crystal chunk from. But we do already have some parts of the amethyst being processed here, so it makes sense that they've brought it over here and now it's being lowered down, perhaps, for processing. So at some point I need to add some kind of transport system up here, some kind of rail system, we just need something that's taking the amethyst from here and then along here around all this bit to be processed here and the crane is maybe lifting it off the uh the transport whatever that transport is and this crane over here by the uh by the hot springs is a bit smaller and it's also new it doesn't have any rocks on it yet holding down the uh well whatever that is the, the counterweight and it doesn't have anything on its chains yet so this one might get something different on it if we can uh, come up with some designs for some different crystals might have a different one hanging there 
But for now, it is an empty little crane with no purpose. It's just got some hanging weights and some attachments. I also put some veggies around here. I just feel like if people were taking a break up here that they might actually have the little vegetable gardens that they've already got. Maybe they've started to spread it out a bit so that they can roast some potatoes and some carrots and stuff on their campfire. But this area is really beginning to feel completed now. Well, not completed, but like it's on the way. Rather than just having a load of rocks and rubble, we're actually seeing how that rock and rubble is being used. The platforms are adding some layers and a, the height of the cranes is really helping. I'm actually really glad I left that one without a crystal on it. I like the fact the, um, the chains are uneven. It's keeping it a bit more shape. This one's actually a bit shorter as well because I figured this was more of a loading one. So it's loading stuff again from some kind of transport. Maybe it's stuff coming up or down these, um, these slightly precarious stairs. I'm really happy with how this is coming out so far. This is kind of what I intended when I first found this place and I looked at it and I thought, ooh, we'll make a big, a big mine. This is kind of what I meant, so I'm really happy with how this is coming together. I feel I could really do to make some custom trees around this bit though, because these these big blobby traditional trees are getting a bit annoying. They don't fit. Some of them are okay. These little ones, not too bad, but these like big lollipop ones need to go. So I might do that now. I might just make some custom trees for this little area. So then this is kind of finished, and I can decide what's going on here. Because there's this little back bit. That presently doesn't have anything on it, but if we're going to have stuff being transported from this geode, then we might have to have some tracks or some kind of transport along here. And so clearing the trees will help figure out what land we've got to use. And around the mine itself, we've got this kind of spreading top of, um, I think it's meadow, meadow and plains. And there's also this, this big ravine. This is like a big wraparound curve that goes all the way around to like there-ish. It'd be nice to do something with that, I just don't know what. It's also full of foxes. This is where they keep going. But yeah, if I wanted to do anything with this for the town, you'd really kind of have to go out of your way from the town to get back here. I think from a, a villager's perspective, that's quite a distance. So I don't really know what this would be used for functionally. But we'll think of something. It might just get decorated. It might make it look a bit, um, a bit more interesting than just a load of stone and dirt. We shall see. But from back here, on this side, we can really see how this is coming together. Yeah, the cranes are really helping. They've really filled that out. I like it. Good. I was going to put some custom trees there as well, but I think I might leave it. Use that for um, putting some kind of device on. Maybe a smaller crane or maybe some kind of transport. Some kind of crate. I think that would make more sense. Anyway, I'll just do a few more custom trees here and I'll be back with you in a moment. trees. The ones at the front are custom built, leaning over a little bit, some roots and stuff at the bottom, and the ones at the back are natural trees, natural spawning ones that I've then just fluffied up a bit with some texture. Pretty simple, does a good job of just hiding the repetitive blocky shapes. And up here I covered up the ravine type thing, there's like a little, a little gash in the land that goes under here. Oh my gosh, this needs lighting up. There we are, that's that all lit up. I haven't bothered covering the whole thing up because I don't need to at the moment. I might make it deliberately like a cave mouth. I might not, it might get covered up in time. But I've made this top bit flat and covered up the uh, the hole in the ground here so that we can tie it into this storage area or this transport area if I need to. It just gives us a bit more flexibility. I'm not quite sure if I have tracks coming from here. I'm not quite sure where they're gonna go through the trees. I might end up having to take maybe this one down, but we'll see. For now, i just put one in here. We'll sort it out as and when we come to that. But it could go around the front, I suppose. I could have it... Yeah, I could have a... That would make more sense. Have it on a platform going across this front bit. Yeah, probably do that. But I've still got this flat bit up here now. I can put some buildings up here or some... Uh, just some storage areas. Whatever. But now I'm going to work on this cliff. Don't think I want to do too much with it. 
think I want to leave it quite grassy since it does go straight up onto a plains. But there's a couple of areas like here I can maybe level this out and make it um, make it like a sheer face with some rock texture in it. Maybe a bit round here because this is quite muddy, but it kind of also looks like a mudslide, which I quite like. And I could do to tidy up some of the um, the mossy clumps, whatever these are. There's quite a big one up there. I think I made that one. I think that's something I've done, but could do with tidying up still. Maybe put some more cliff face along here at the bottom of the original crane, because we've got this big cliff face bit here, but then it kind of just turns to this very soft looking dirt. So I might, uh, I might try and beef this out a little bit with some more stone so it um, has a little bit more solidity. These sides, with these two new cranes, the cliffs were kind of already done. So I don't need to do much over there. And that poor pillager is still stuck in the minecart. I'm just going to leave him there. Whilst I'm doing that, I might also... Oops. I might also figure out where the path is going to go. If I'm going to have carts coming from here all the way around to there. Obviously I can put this one in around here, which I might also do. But I could do to put something up here to define where the path is going to go. And then gradually, as I make my way around, I can take some of the trees down and uh, make bigger custom ones. Actually aim to make spruces this time as well, not just make weird saggy trees like I did at the front. The more I'm doing the custom trees, the more I'm realising just how visually jarring these ones are, particularly the uh, the lollipop ones. The ones that are like big and bushy, not so much, but uh, these ones really beginning to bug me, so they'll they'll definitely all get replaced at some point. I'm kind of, part of me is tempted to just take all of the trees down and then build things like the forge, because I'm going to need to build the forge soon, because it's quite an integral part of the design and I'm kind of skipping around it a little bit. I think once it's in, the uh, the settlement will make way more sense, because it's a bit split at the moment. There's like the town at the front and then this mine at the back and there's kind of, there's kind of just this blank hill in between. So part of me is just tempted to take all of the trees down, put up everything that I want, put in all the paths, put in the hot springs, put in the crystals and then afterwards come back in and put all the trees in. Just that it'll change the uh, change the feel of the village from the front in particular. Whilst they're, they're ugly little placeholder trees, they're, they're still doing a job. But I'll go get some stuff and we'll do those cliffs and the bit of path work around between the two cranes. I love this downstairs storage bit now. I love kind of noodling through coming down here into this gloomy little this gloomy little cave where there's all my secret stashes of things. This one little chest is my last chest that I need to fill with bamboo. This is bamboo, this is bamboo, they're all bamboo. And all of that storage back there, all 16 double chests, all full of bamboo. We shall not want for bamboo when 1.20 comes out. I don't have any plans for builds with the bamboo matting stuff or whatever it's called, the bamboo blocks. I just want to make sure I've got enough. So should an idea come to me, I don't have to spend my time gathering bamboo. And I'm going to stop saying bamboo now. I was just looking through my chests and I found a random kind of store of quartz I didn't know I had, so this can go in the quartz box. Cool. Little by little, building up that supply. I think I've got everything. I've got the wood to build the platforms and stuff with. I've got just some spare dirt and that to play around with. That's for like the walls. I've also got this in case I decide to put some mud down to make the roads. Granite, that's what I need. Uh, that's just more wall texturing and that's just a bit of greenery. I think that's everything I need except the granite. Dripstone as well actually. Take those. Ooh, I'm running out of dripstone a bit. I have to go do some mining at some point. I think that's everything I need. Let's go do some cliffs. Yeah, as you're approaching, you've got this custom tree here and then there's just these lollipops in the background that's beginning to annoy me. So tempted to just take them all down. Yeah, I can see what space I've got to work with as well. I'll just quickly time lapse doing the cliff and then I'll come back to you for doing the pathway and stuff and deciding on whether or not I'm going to chop some trees I'm tempted to chop. And done. Just a little bit of cliff decoration back there, not a huge amount. And a little bit on here just to help prop up that uh, that crane yeah that'll do for now again i don't want to spend too much time doing this kind of thing just in case i decide i'm gonna put a, another like row of um platforms or something along here i don't want to cover it up there's no point spending hours and hours and hours doing something you're just gonna cover up but whilst i was doing that i did have a thought about the trees so in short when i come to build the um the forge over here i'm gonna have to clear all these trees anyway to see what space i've got and it might end up moving closer back towards the mines than i first thought 
So all of this lot's got to go anyway. And on this side, I'm probably going to end up making more walls like we've got on this side. So some of the trees are going to have to go for that anyway. I don't think I'm going to close off the back. Or if I do, I'll make like a big deliberate gateway. But uh, I quite like the idea of leaving the back open. And I'm going to need to clear some trees to put the path in here. So basically, most of them have got to go at some point anyway. So I might just do some of it today. I might just clear this top bit where, you know, I said I was going to put the path in and see how I feel about that. Because I've decided that once the forge is in, I will put the trees back. But I think I might try and make them part of the build. I don't just mean custom trees. I mean, I like the idea that they've maybe deliberately been grown to make like a, a tunnel through to the mine or something, or that they've been grown as like a, a protective wall. So maybe they're quite stylized. Maybe they twist a bit. Maybe they're really big, shaggy kind of fir trees. Maybe they're just something a bit different and actually part of the build rather than just trees surrounding it. I mean, when I first came up with the um, the basic idea for the forge, I quite liked the idea of there being like a really big tree and all the roots were coming around, but I kind of feel like that's doing too many things in one settlement, so the big tree build might end up being somewhere else. Might be quite nice with a cherry tree, to be honest. We shall see. But uh, yeah, I'd still, I think I'd still like to bring some kind of height and shape in with the trees rather than just having lollipops. So many lollipops. So next will be to put the path in. And I'll take some trees down, we'll go around the, the hot springs, we'll figure out what path I need to take there. And I might just take some of the trees from around here as well. Just to see how it looks cleared. You can see the space we've got to work with. Yes, I probably won't time lapse this though. We'll, ma we'll maybe do it and uh, think aloud. I'd also like to clear some trees because then I can put more amethysts up here. Since that is kind of the point of this, we're supposed to be attracting the amethyst drake. If we can put some more up here. So they're a bit more visible on this uh, hilltop, then hopefully we will have the desired visitor rather than the undesired visitors. I think I'll start from this side. This stupid one can definitely go. This patch is already quite clear aside to these rocks, which might have to get moved, but never mind. So I think if I just go back from here, so maybe this one and curve around to go down here, I think. So normally these kind of roads would follow the easiest flow of the existing landscape. So if we come from the crane, it would probably go down here a little bit and curve around this hole, which we can put something in that, that can maybe be another hot spring or uh, maybe there's another geode in there. And then it would probably come around here onto this outer edge of the ring where you can see the other village. I don't think there's anybody in there anymore. And then back around here, oops, over that hole. And this is then the, the back of the mines with the, the hilltop where we were stood a moment ago. So whilst it makes quite a big curving path, I think logically that's the one that would be made for, you know, if there's horses and mules and things dragging carts around or if there's rail carts, I think they would follow these kinds of milder inclines rather than gouging their way through these ditches. Okay, so that's a little tree path cut down. Come through here, swoop around here with what eventually will be a hot spring and out across here, which will lead to the other crane. This seems like the most like level route to take, so I'm happy with it. It's got a, a good curve to it. I just need to go fill in some of these gaps. I definitely need to close off this one because it is very badly full of monsters. There's a lot in there. Just had to go light it up, but it's still too many. Also, can you please just take a moment to question how I managed to stand a shulker box on its side? There's its swirly whirly bottom. How have I managed to put it sideways? Look, it's opening that way. I don't know how I managed that, but oh well. None of my business. Got some dirt, coarse dirt, podsel and grass. So let us fill in some of these areas. I think I'll just dirt this up. Pretend this isn't here, it's fine. The little chasm to hell does not exist. Yeah, that's that little bit done. Maybe just tidy in this top bit. I think that's all the holes filled in. I'll just catch that one and maybe widen this up a little. I think I'm actually going to run through here with some shears and get all of these ferns because I am running out of ferns again. Nearly wore out my shears and about two and a half stacks of ferns. So that was worthwhile doing. And some grass. And some sticks. Again? Is this guy still over here? Oh, we've got a creeper in that one as well. Very good. But yeah, he's still over there. We're getting quite the collection. Are you looking for your friend? I made you paths and you're going to ignore them, aren't you? Well, you do you. Enjoy 
breaking your ankles. Now I shall take some dirt and I shall just level out some of this pathway along here between the two cranes. Okay, we now have a very clear path that I shall just I shall just get on and make. It probably won't have any um any transport elements today. I think I'm just literally gonna mark where the path is gonna go. I might decorate it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna spend too much time until I've decided what's moving the crystals around. My gut reaction is to think that it's like horse and cart. But like multiple horses pulling one big cart with the crystal laying on it. But we shall see. I'll have a think. If I can think of anything more interesting, then we'll go with that. But for now, we'll just set in the foundation and go from there. Time to slap the floor a lot. That is a nice wide path. Obviously, very plain at the moment. Need to uh, decorate it. It won't get too much decoration because I don't think they'd waste the resources making a path up here. Because this isn't for people to walk on, it's just to drag some stuff around. But it'll have a little bit of decoration, a bit of reinforcement here and there. We'll get on with that. But it's nice and wide, so big carts can go down it. Bruce, and I'll use some mud bricks just to reinforce the steps. I'll also put some mud, some granite. What else have I got? A dripstone, isn't it? Where's that gone? There it is. For now, minimal decoration. Just a little bit of uh, patchworking of blocks, just to put some details in where there's a step. It's a little bit at the sides, but because I'm going to put some fences and stuff down, I don't want to be too heavy-handed with that. I just like, I just like a bit of patchy fencing. A bit more over here, maybe. Yeah, patchy fencing. But it comes all the way around. I'll add some more fencing in around here as well. I think. Don't think I'll put up any fencing on this top bit because I think there's probably going to be more up here at some point, even if it's just little pit stops and campfires and stuff like that. Piles of wood, because obviously if they've chopped these trees down, the wood is going to get stored somewhere. I like to think on things a little bit before I start building a load of stuff, but uh, yes, I'm quite happy I've put this path in now. And it comes down to here and all the way down to this crane. And I will put some kind of loading area here once I've decided what this is going to be, if this is going to be horses and carts, which it probably is, honestly. Not committing to anything just yet. I just need to move these boxes and that should be that really. I might just put some fence this side because that's onto the drop really isn't it? Yeah that makes sense. It makes sense that they would fence off that a little bit. It isn't really to deter anyone from falling off. It's more to kind of mark where the boundary is. It's a guide more than a safety precaution. Yeah no that looks that looks better. That looks more complete. I'm just going to build the little walkway over here and I think that'll be it for me today. I think I've done quite a lot, way more than I intended to do. I was really planning on doing the cranes and the cliffs and that was about it, and then the cranes took no time at all, so... I've admittedly been a little flummoxed this episode. Take this hill out, because we don't need it. It comes in a straight line down here. I might wiggle it a little bit, but come down a straight line. It does actually join up with this path anyway, so that's quite handy. Let us reverse it. Okay, yeah, that joins in quite nicely. Path goes around there. This is the original crane. We'll figure out something around here about the loading bay and what's going on and what's going on up here. And then it comes and joins this path down here. They probably wouldn't bring anything large scale this way since it is uh, very narrow and quite steep. But uh, it's still an access path. They can still get some kind of horse and wagon arrangement through there even if it is carefully. They could also bring stuff up to the top as well, but I think they'd probably just go through, to be honest. That's a nice bit of infrastructure set up. A little plain at the moment. But we'll add more to it. Certainly bring up the um, horses and carts and some villagers anyway. Give it some more life at some point. And honestly, I am kind of preferring it with fewer trees. Now that I've taken these trees down, the few trees that are remaining look more important. Rather than having these big endless sweeps of uh, the spruces, it's nice to have kind of like a few picked out, which we shall obviously alter as part of the design going on here. No, that's that's quite nice. I might little by little just take bits of this down because it'll take um it'll probably take like four hours to take the whole lot down. I could do it in one go, but uh, we'll see. Sometimes I'm in the mood to do that kind of thing, so I might just wait until I either need spruce or I'm in the mood to just chop. Anyway, tidy this up, and I think I'll have to pass on putting any amethysts up here for now because if I don't know what's going up here, then I don't know where to put them without having to move them later. So for now, I think I'll call it here. We'll think about what's going here. We'll maybe come back to this next week. Maybe not. We shall see. Look at this as we come in. That looks so much better for being cleared out a bit. You can actually see 
hot springs now. Yeah, I like that. I'm glad I did that. But that will be that for this week, I'm afraid. That has been a very strange, slightly higgledy-piggledy week of just doing jobs as and when they came to me, but there we go. It's done now. Not 100% sure what we'll do with next week. I will probably come back here because I kind of want to work on that hot spring and tidy some of this up now that I've seen this. It looks really nice, so I'm, I'm kind of tempted to come back here and finish this off. But once again, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye for now!